Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a really quick video to show you how to turn off the wrist-based heart rate monitoring on your Garmin Instinct watch. And I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you've got one of the solar models or non-solar models. This video should be the same for everybody. I've also done a more in-depth video in the past about the heart rate monitoring. This is strictly just to show you how to turn it on or off if you want to. So the first question is, how do you know if it's on to begin with? Usually you can just take your watch off or look underneath it. If your wrist-based heart rate monitoring is on, you should see some green lights here that are blinking. That kind of is your indication that it's on, but I'm gonna walk you through the settings to do it. There's also a few different ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you what I consider the most basic way to turn it off. We're gonna press and hold the middle button on the left-hand side, that's your menu button. We're gonna arrow down to settings. We're gonna press GPS to select settings. We're gonna arrow down to sensors and accessories. We're going to press GPS to select sensors and accessories, and then we're going to go to wrist heart rate. We're going to press GPS, and you can see that the status by default should be set to auto. If you wanted to turn it off, all you're going to do is toggle that off. You're going to get an error message here, a warning message that says disabling this will disable the uh, heart rate, body battery, stress, pulse, etc. And all you have to do is just press down to clear that and you successfully turned it off. So why would you want to turn it off? There's some people that just don't use this feature and it is a bit of a battery hog, so turning it off will help your battery life. If you're not using it, it's a good uh, option just to turn it off. If you want to turn it back on, you can go through these same settings, just change the status back to on, and now you've turned it back on. As always, I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.